Welcome to Principles of Marketing. This course serves an introduction to marketing. It's a starting point for advanced marketing courses and is a component in your overall business education. The course is eight weeks in length, which means that it's accelerated, moves approximately twice as fast as a normal semester-based course. In this course, we're going to explore many marketing concepts, but we're going to place a heavy emphasis on learning introductory marketing concepts, creating your first marketing plan, and creating your first marketing materials, which will consist of a web page, an online text-based ad, an online print ad, and either a podcast or a video ad or a vodcast. The course format is eight weeks in length. In other words, it's accelerated. Each week is one unit. So unit one would be week one, unit two, week two, so on and so forth. You're going to create a marketing plan which is completed during the first half of the course and submitted at the end of Unit 5. In the second half of the course, you're going to focus on creating marketing materials. You'll have an online text ad due during Unit 5, an online print ad in Unit 6, a web page in Unit 7, and a podcast or a vodcast or video ad in Unit 8. There are two team assignments. In these team assignments, you'll get together with your team members and complete activities in the design text chapters. Uh, that'll be during Units 2 and Units 4. There are four multiple choice quizzes in the first half of the course in Units 1 through 4. And those quizzes are directly tied to the um, readings in that unit. For example, in Unit 1 it would be over Chapters 1 through 4. Now the grading in this course. Most of the students who work to their potentials earn an A or a B for their final grade. The grading scale is 10% per grade level. In other words, an A would be 90 to 100%, a B would be 80 to 89.99, so on and so forth. The grading weight, your marketing plan and your marketing materials take the greatest uh, portion of the weight of the course. Your marketing plan is approximately worth 30% and so are the marketing materials. Your assignments are worth 20% and your quizzes are also worth 20%. And at some point in the course, I may uh, award extra credit. The thing to remember with grading is that this course moves very quickly, which means that we don't have time to go back and make up uh, old assignments. That being said, here's the submission policy. Late assignments, plans, and marketing materials may be accepted with a penalty of 25% off per day. Now, an extension might be granted uh, with instructor permission. I know that things happen. Sometimes people get sick or injured or whatnot, and uh, I want to let you know that I am somewhat flexible with that submission policy but I do need to know what's going on so I can uh, grant an extension if necessary. Uh, late uh, quizzes are not accepted uh, simply because I'd like to turn those quizzes back around and provide the answers as soon as possible after the uh, due date. All of your assignments are also to be submitted electronically basically submit them as directed per the instructions. So how do I get started? Well step one you read the syllabus Click on the syllabus under Course Tools to the left. That will fill you in on the details. Step 2, you need to view the lessons. That's on the lesson section under Course Tools to the left. I'd like you to start reading uh, the lesson section for Unit 1. So what's in the lesson section? Well, there are several different sections here. The first one is the agenda. Then you have your learning goals and outcomes, your learning resources, your learning activities, and then finally your quizzes. In your agenda, that contains the agenda for each unit. It's a listing, it shows you the listing of readings, presentations, and other things. It has the assigned work that you're to do this week, or this unit, the due dates, and then finally the next steps, the steps you'll take after completing all of the learning objectives for the week. Your learning goals and outcomes section, that contains an overview of each chapter that you're to read that unit. It gives you the learning outcomes for each chapter, and also the key takeaway of each chapter, the things that are very important to understand. The learning resources section contains information about what your readings are, any uh, listing of videos, PowerPoint presentations, and any other pertinent resources for the unit. For example, it could be a link to a website that I'd like you to read or something like that. <clears throat> the learning activities section contains the information you'll need for your team assignments, marketing materials, and your marketing plan procedures. Finally, the last section is your quiz section, and that contains information about the unit quizzes uh, for the first half of the course. If you have any questions, 
uh, please contact me as soon as possible. You can use the messages tool to the left to do that. Thank you.